ever seen a Trogoth with a Stargate on his back? Neither have I. Let's check it out. Hi there, Chris here with another unboxing for you all. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Dawnbringers. Gloom Spike gets Trog's Great Trogherd. Trogherd? Say that 10 times fast. For Warhammer Age of Sigmar, big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this model and this box set. Big thank you to my patrons. Without your support, these videos are not possible. And a big thank you to the members here on YouTube as well. Big, big thank yous. So we have seen plenty of reveals of this model coming up and this big old box. Yeah, this is a big box. This is honestly, it's a, it's a bit thicker than what you normally see. Uh, the Vanguard boxes are about the half of this thickness. Uh, let's see here. Okay, maybe not quite half, but it is it is quite a bit thicker. As you can see, this is the Vanguard box, this is the new Trog box, and you can see it is a good deal thicker. So, it is a bigger box for bigger models, and yeah, I think it's pretty darn exciting. Uh, this model is just, too much fun. There is just so much going on with this model. Hard to believe. And, um, oh man, I just, I honestly, I cannot wait to get in, have a look at this thing. And yeah, I'm kind of curious as the complexity. It also comes with a bunch of other uh, trolls and such. Uh, we'll flip it over onto the other side of the box. I have no idea if this model has any other assembly uh, options or anything like that. So, uh, I mean, everything I've ever seen on this model, it seems to be a fixed pose. So do not expect a lot of conversion possibility. I mean, you can always convert things, but I mean, you know, it, it's not gonna be easily to repose or anything like that. Like you're gonna have to do some work to, uh, you know, make this thing kind of fit in with, in with other areas. Uh, but of course it also comes with, how many models is this? This is what? This is seven models. This is a great big box with seven models in it. My gosh. So it's gotta be six trolls plus uh, trog, trug, truggy is, truggy, <laughs> truggy, truggy the trogoth king. Trug, they might as well just call them truggy. Why not, right? But anyway, yeah, so the model looks fantastic. Uh, this is a, pretty much a one-to-one -one of the model. So yeah, he's gonna be that big. That's pretty darn big. It's gotta be the spacers for like the antlers and all the vines and everything like that because like why would this box really need to be this big for this model? I have no idea, but let's uh, stop with the gum flapping. I'm going to bust out the trusty, rusty blade of destiny, and we are going to cut our way into the box. This box is simply just taped up. It is not cellophaned up. I do enjoy me some cellophane. It is kind of uh, the main reason why I enjoy these unboxings. <laughs> I like the little gloom spite symbol on there. <laughs> you know, I never really noticed that on any of the other boxes, so it's kind of interesting. Anyway, we open it up. It's got the nice little shelf inside and let's have a quick little peek at the instruction booklet. Of course, uh, it's got, you know, substantial thickness. It's not huge. I mean, like I can't see there being a lot to it because it's really the trolls are, you know, they're pretty standard, right? I mean, like, it's not like these trolls are brand new or anything like that or have a terrible amount of uh, building options. It is 650 mil bases and one 100 mil base. Lots of options are like lots of trolls and, and models and frames and everything like that. We start off with Trug, Truggy, Truggy the Trugoth, <laughs> Truggy the Trugoth King. Very, very cool, straightforward assembly. Yeah, look at those big old antlers on him and his big old Stargate. The Stargate looks pretty darn complex too. Like for assembly and everything like that, it looks pretty darn complex, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I like the idea of this little um, thing, you know, sitting on his back. And yeah, it's it's really, really interesting. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is for the trolls. Yeah, this is the rock gut trugoths. Rock gut? They got rocks in their guts, apparently. <laughs> so you can set them up with the hammers or the clubs. Oh, he's even got a little duder. <laughs> he's got a little duder in his hands. Lots of options for like the heads and everything like that, like assembling up the heads, big war clubs. Very, very cool. Uh, is that it? So you just get six of them and you can just assemble them up however you like. Apparently, apparently you, that's how it goes. I really like that color scheme for them. The really dark blue. That looks really darn cool. Of course you get the really nice 
crystals and everything like that painted onto the models and then of course yes we get the look at the rules on the back of the assembly and let's have a look inside of the box so we have a whole bunch of the bases this is what the 50 mils and we have trog and yes so the frame is quite large as uh there are quite a bit of parts that protrude from the um the main figure you can see here how like like some of that part up there comes up and yeah, so that's why it's in a big box. It's because some of these parts protrude all over the place. Yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure that probably didn't hurt anybody's feelings trying to get in there and, you know, make that work. We also get a look at the more trogs. I'm, I'm just gonna call them trolls because trogs just does not roll off my tongue. Hey, but you glue their noses in place. I've never assembled a, a, a troll before. We'll have a slightly closer look at some of these frames. I know many of you out there are going to be very familiar with the uh, trolls. It looks like it's primarily the trolls. Is Trog all in one frame? And all of this is for six trolls? Really? That is interesting. Yeah, there's two of these frames and it's two of the other frames, I think, right? Which would make sense if they're six because it, it's pretty even, right? Oh no, they're not the same. I thought maybe these were the same frames, but they're not. So you get these two frames, and then you get these two frames. And these two frames, I think, are identical. Are they not? I think they are. They look identical. I'm seeing multiples of the same thing. Oh, this is that frame, and that is that frame. Okay, yeah, so you get two of this. Okay, it's all the same. <laughs> Again, I have never assembled up a troll, so I could not tell you what exactly is supposed to happen there. So, you know what? Yeah, we, let's take a closer look at these frames and let's give Trug the good old sniff. Yeah, we'll give him a sniff. We'll just see what he sniffs like or smells like or sniffs like. You never know, right? But anyway, yeah, let's get to that. So because I'm not that familiar with the Trugoths, I'm going to have a quick closer look at the Trogoth frame. And for all of you out there who are not that familiar with these models, uh, maybe this will be uh, a little bit informative for you as well. I really dig the details. I love all these big crazy shapes on these arms and everything like that. I mean, trolls are really, really cool. <laughs> big crazy ugly faces on them. Yeah, these guys are pretty darn cool. You've got little necklaces and stuff for them. That's actually really, really cool. Have a look at their little mugs. Mug mugs. Yeah. So essentially these uh, three models are basically three frames for assembly. And so this is just the first one here. And this one has like, looks like a lot of the heads and arms. Uh, this next frame, well, I just left these two frames attached. So it's gonna be one big old frame. Yes, love all the details, love the clubs. Little crystals. Really great details, look at that one. Like, look at the edges on the crystal. Like, how could you not paint that up like a big old crystal, right? Yeah. Oh, look at this. The stone even has fossilized, um, oh, I can't remember what the heck those things are called. What are those called in fossils? The shell, the shellfish. The proper name, what's the proper name? First person to type it in, wins. What do you win? Don't know. You win something. <laughs> Everybody's frantically typing in their keyboards right now. Ah, uh, it is. Yeah, these are really, really cool looking models. I like the details. Oh, big old dwarf head. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, Here's a little behind the scenes for everybody. I'm usually, when I'm doing this portion of the video, I'm usually looking through my camera at the screen. So I'm not actually looking at the frame. And um, yeah, that little detail threw me for a loop. <laughs> but anyway, that's the Trogoths. Uh, oh, I guess I'm gonna have a look at the backside too. <laughs> have a look at the backside. Yeah, looking at the backside of a troll. <laughs> That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today on this channel. <laughs> we're looking at the backsides of trolls. Don't say that the internet is not informative because, um, yeah, how would you know? How would you even know what the backside of a troll even look like? You wouldn't, not without this video. This video 
provides a serious uh, public service. And yeah, it's important. It's important to know what a troll's backside looks like. All right, enough of that. Let's get over to the other one. Let's have a look at Trog now. Now Trog is all on one big old frame. I was considering backing this camera up a bit, but uh, I think we'll be okay like this. And yeah, love the detail. Love the vines, love the Stargate thingy on his back. Like, look at all this. Yeah, this model's freaking cool. There's this big old schnoz on him. That's a schnoz, isn't it? I hope. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still on the whole backside of a troll thing. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We got the antlers. We got a fist. Got his backside. Oh yeah, that's right. Even his. It's not. It's not quite covering his, his backside. <laughs> so anybody who wanted to know what a troll's backside looks like, there you go, right there. You got it. <laughs> It's all about giving the people what they want. I like this little character duder. This little gefeller. Whatever he is. Some sort of little troll duder. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and his club is one of those shells as well. It's like a prehistoric shell thingy. Yes, things very, very cool. All right, let's give it a sniff test. Let's see what Trug sniffs like or smells like. And sniffs. We'll see. Does he sniff? I mean, with trolls with their big old snodges. They've got to smell pretty darn good, right? Like they can smell, not that they would smell. Wow, I'm confused. All right, let's give it a sniff test. <laughs> yeah, uh, troll backsides, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the rest of the video. That is our look at the Dawnbringers Trug Great Trug Herd for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this box. Big thank you to my patrons for their continued support, as well as all you brand new ones as well. If you're watching this on YouTube, memberships is also available as well. Click whatever makes sense to you, and big thank you to everybody for their support on the memberships and Patreons. You guys have been fantastic, and a big, big thank you to you all. If you're not able to support monetarily, i.e. money, Thumbing up the video, liking, following, subscribing, commenting, ringing the bell, all help the channel as well. And all it takes is a couple clicks of a button and you're helping me out a great deal. And a huge thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. Take care of your brushes. They'll take care of you. And I will see you in the next unboxing or useless review. Maybe a painting tutorial, maybe even a live stream, maybe a battle report. Ooh, a battle report. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some battle reports, right? 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 No? Okay. Okay, bye.